making my omelet, I saw the guy like pouring oil in a pan and I... So this lady, food science babe, goes on to say that the woman rejecting seed oils is being a food elitist because they didn't want seed oils in their meal and that that choice is very privileged and it comes from a place of privilege. How far do you want to take this rhetoric? Because you are on an iPhone making food content in America. Is that privilege? You are a white woman living in America, which I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but is that a place of privilege? Everything we do as health creators comes from a place of privilege. We have good water. We have nutritious food. We have, you know, a safe space to be in. That is privilege. How far do you want to take this rhetoric? Everything we do comes from a place of privilege, of course. Do you drive a car, lady? Like, of course, that is a place of privilege. How far do you want to take this? Yeah, people that are able to make healthy choices, it comes from a place of privilege, of course. How, what, are you, what are you trying to say here? My dude, you seem a little confused, so let's talk about this. So this person that I stitch wasn't merely just saying that she chooses not to eat seed oils. She was making false claims, saying things that they were inflammatory. Now, first off, yes, it is a privilege to be able to make the choice to not consume seed oils if you're served something that has seed oils in it and you don't want to consume it and you have that choice, of course, that is a privilege. In many ways, I am very privileged. In no way am I denying that fact. I'm not sure how this uh, somehow refutes what I said in that video, but it doesn't. Going back to my video and what I was actually talking about, food elitism, healthism, making false claims about uh, more accessible, less expensive foods. That isn't just simply about having privileges, being privileged. Um, that is about making false claims about foods that uh, more people have access to, people in lower income situations, people shopping at food banks, and you're making false claims about the foods that they have access to. Well, you and that woman in the video have the choice to buy something more expensive, again, that you're falsely claiming is healthier or isn't toxic while the alternative is toxic or inflammatory when that is not true. Hopefully you now understand what that difference is there. And in no way am I denying that I have specific privileges, obviously. I do. We go back and forth, but I'm not ever angry. This video made me angry. Like, how are you going to say that people that want to do healthy things are elitist? I'm not surprised that my video made you angry, especially because you're the one telling people that they shouldn't consume things like vegetable oil because they are disgusting. Based on your content, I'm not surprised that you're confused about this, but you're going around telling people not to consume something because it's disgusting. Making false claims about more accessible, less expensive foods is not the same as merely just saying, I don't like this, I don't consume it. That's not what you're doing. You're part of the problem.